Now, if you've prepared yourself, then it's time to build those detailed plans. And that's the second law, the law of planning. When you're prepared and you plan, your chances of success for yourself and for your team and others becomes astronomically high because you're working a plan and you can adjust and you can grow and you can build. So let's start with the law of preparation. We're in a unique time. Each of us gets to choose what we do with our waking hours. Many of those that came before us didn't have that luxury of choice. In the world's history and even our nation's history, people didn't have that ability. Go back 100 years ago to our grandparents or great-grandparents. They grew up in certain cities and towns, with certain industries, and certain life tracks that were predefined for them. We didn't have FaceTime. We didn't have cheap telecommunications. If you were going to go strike out and do something that was not in an industry that was in your hometown, you were going to have to break your life. You were going to have to go a completely different direction. But we've changed that world. Now we have lots of choices. We have many choices. We could be real estate agents, doctors, lawyers, speakers. Part of the planning process is to know that we're going to do this repetitively and over and over again. We don't need a magic date. We don't have to wait for the beginning of the next quarter to make plans at work. We don't have to wait for the beginning of the month. We can start incrementally improving ourselves. And it may take a couple of attempts. The first time you try to do planning, the first times you work through it, you may get off track. You may forget about your plan. But you can start building that muscle. And like that smoker that takes 8 to 11 times to quit smoking, if you try and try to build really good plans and work those plans, if you get it on the fifth or sixth attempt, you're going to be light years ahead of those that aren't doing it. So you want to start the process. So now is the time to start making these changes. There's a lot of research out there that tells us if people act immediately on something, they're much more likely to lock it in rather than saying, I'll start on that two weeks from now or three weeks from now. So now's the time to go back and revise your plans. So I've tried to break things down into a methodology that works. That's where these three laws of empowerment come in, and that's what they do. So let me tell you about the three laws of empowerment. It's very simple. We're going to break planning into component parts into pieces that make it easy to do. The first law is the law of preparation. This is about the dreaming and getting yourself ready and figuring out where you really want to go. It's great to have a plan, but before you build a plan, you really want your destination in mind. You want to know where you're going to, what you're striving for. And that's what we're going to start with. Then we're going to talk about the law of planning, which is planning on a technical level, really making a plan that works, making sure we're protecting ourselves, making sure we're dealing with the what ifs. And then the final law is the law of protection. We know there's going to be disruptions. We know there's going to be outside influences on our plans. How do we pull all of that together to make our plans successful and to make sure we get where we're going? So I'm Marcus McHugh. I'm Executive Vice President of Guardian Mortgage Company, and we had the opportunity to have Sean come and speak to us about the laws of empowerment. I tell you, it was not only exciting and interesting, but it was very relevant to our business as we work through our goals, our plans for 2017, and how we get individuals to not only be engaged with the company, but also engaged with each other. I was happy to see that he tied this into a personal aspect for himself and also for the other individuals and gave us items that were executable for us, not just theories about what we can do, but concrete ways for us to plan, to execute on those plans, and to look forward to working with others to create success. Could have been happier with the presentation.